Hi guys, Adam here, and I was just watching PK Truth's video, Melbourne Car Donut Craziness, more proof of staging, and he points out a lot of different things. So he points out that this uh, man in blue seems to be some type of a director. There's a man in red over here that seems to be a, some type of a director, and then he points out that this man in red uh, is more focused on uh, filming the situation than anything else. So... Is the last lady, and you'll notice this guy over here, the cameraman. He's, 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 he's the nicest guy. All he wants to do is film this shit. He'll run across here. Yeah. All he wants to do is film this. And to see the one that's red man going there. So as you see, he points out the red man that seems to be guiding people back and forth. And then he points out this man in red here. I've watched uh, his other videos that he's released at the moment, this 44-minute one as well, where he goes into detail on other things and some of the uh, staging of, of what it looks to be staging of this event. And uh, I just wanted to point out something. So I've been looking into it as well and uh, trying to find anything odd about this itself and... Uh, if you see some of the camera angles that have got on this, so if we see this camera angle right here, you see it's higher than everybody else. So the, these people are on ground level and this camera is uh, higher than everybody else, obviously. And it seems to be that this person might have been aware of that. This situation was going to occur and they've got a position uh, so then they can like record uh, more clearly. And if we go back and we find out where it would be, we see that this person is also in red. So we've got uh, this person in red. We've got the man in red that is ushering the people. We've got the man in this black car that seems to be uh, one of the other people that are filming it with the dash cam. So this black car here has a woman and a, a male and a female in it and the male hops out of the car he's dressed in red this guy's dressed in red the guy that seems to be directing the um the people across the road what might be crisis actors or uh, civilians mixed with crisis actors uh, he seems to be dressed in red and uh, we also have the other cameraman that he's dressed in red as well so i'm not too sure if they've color coded some of their crisis actors accordingly um, I just thought I'd keep a record on it and try and pass it on to PK Truth and hopefully he can look into it a bit further himself, see what other footage he finds and know to, if he hasn't noticed this already that this cameraman up here, that look, this would be the one that's overlooking it. He's taken a position up here and he's also dressed in red. So I'm not too sure if he would be a crisis actor, but it seems that he's taken a position that would be a, a very good vantage point to catch this situation occurring. Um, everybody else would just be in shock and awe with this situation. If you've seen somebody doing donuts and whatnot, you probably just get your phone out um, and start recording. If you were going to do it, you wouldn't think outside of the box really quickly and then run up on the hill and start recording. I uh, just don't think that that's you know, the capacity of people these days uh, to do something like that. As you see, these people are just standing in awe, just watching the event occur. Most people are just standing in awe watching the event occur. There's not a whole bunch of phones out that are recording it. But the people that are recording the event, they seem to be color-coded. So I just thought I'd point that out, that this uh, cameraman up here is dressed in red. We also have this cameraman dressed in red. We have this camera, if we, if we go backwards a bit, I think. I think it might be back. Oh, wait, we'll go forward. I think you might have skipped back at some point. And he shows it. He shows the man hopping out of his car. Yeah, here he points it out. Points out the man getting out of his car somewhere along this point. This is the dash cam footage. If we see here, this is the other man that uh, was in this car, the dash cam that we see, the black car. So where is it? If I can get to it. Oh, sorry, I've skipped ahead and whatnot on some of these. So if I go back on this video itself, we see this kit. This is the car here that I'm talking about. It's got the dash cam going. 
and then when the man hops out, he's dressed in red. So I'm not too sure if they've color coded their cameraman. If this is a staged event, it seems that they might have color coded their cameraman in red. Um, so if we skip this forward a bit again, we see that up here. Should have remembered the timestamp. Sorry about that, people. Oh, we also have another man up here. It's not dressed in red. Oh. Oh, there we go. You see that person coming into, into the clip. So there was two people up on that hill. If we go back and we see, there was a man that looked to be in a good position up there already with a film but we have this person that's walking along on whatever this is i'm not too sure what this is and if you're actually allowed to be on this uh looks like it's gated off and you're not even supposed to be up there um pk has described how he lives in melbourne and uh you're not allowed to drive your cars down this street so uh, i'm not too sure if you'd even be able to walk up on this part here or i'm not too sure but yeah, I'll pass this video on to PK Truth and see what he thinks about this. He's the one that seems to be doing most of the research and uh, the exposing. He knows uh, the demographic. He knows the location a lot better than I do. So I will sort of pass this on and let him do his work, I guess. Thanks, people. But I think that this PK might be onto something. Feel free to look into it for yourself. PK Truth's got several videos out now describing the event and how it might be staged and how there seems to be crisis actors placed throughout this. Uh, obviously, everybody here wouldn't be a crisis actor, but they'd only need a certain amount to infiltrate the crowds and sort of coordinate and uh, block off. We see this blue man here indicating to people we see this red man he being a part of it we see the another red man over to the left of the over here usually running back and forth when you're looking the footage seems to be coordinating and telling people where to go uh, pk has pointed out how certain cars aren't moving until um the event leads into flinders street over here which this is a uh, only allowed for police cars and uh, emergency services and you notice that there's an unmarked car that follows the other unmarked cars so all these cars here follow the car into this street and then you notice that there's a an suv of some type that also follows them into there so it seems like they would have blocked off blocked off the entryways into this intersection so then the person could have done their donuts and then led on to here and uh, made it a big spectacle so then the people that are on looking believe it's a real event all right and it gives that validity so yeah i also feel a very skeptical on this event i don't know whether to trust it or whatnot um they've said that a child's died in it so they've added a lot of uh catch 22 if you say that it's a fake event then you're going to get called sadistic and whatnot so i'm prepared for that but uh feel free to look into it for yourself really don't believe the media the media seems to be one of the main culprits of all the lies that are told to us so mainstream media is not to be trusted do your own personal investigations and uh journalism if you want to call it that and see how you come out on this see what type of a narrative you seem to get yourself all right peace out people